Well, this is class 279. Let's get going. Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, professional photojournalist here in Manhattan for the last 50 years. Please subscribe, please give me the thumbs up button. And this subscriber of mine sent me an email and gave me a challenge. And the challenge is for me to find a DSLR for under $100 that will give incredible results. It's pretty simple. However, this person also said that they wanted to have, of course, autofocus, right? It had to be a digital camera. It had to have at least 14 megapixels and it had to have live view because this person likes to take photos, you know, like a cell phone instead of uh, up to your eye. So I accepted the challenge. And I want you to be part of the process, how we would look for something like that, which gives you an idea of how you can look for a camera when you want to spend under a hundred dollars, but you want professional looking photographs. Okay. So as I start the process, I'm looking at my computer. Uh, the first thing I do as a professional with 50 years experience, is you kind of work backwards, right? So you say, okay, I love the output of the D700, the D3X and the D3. So even though you're not going to get a working <laughs> D3 or D700 for under $100, you kind of pick it apart, right? So what's the side? What's the brains? And here's what comes up. It's the XP image processor. E E D. Now that is the brains of the operation, right? That's the processing chip that processes the image. To give you professional results. So I spent a long time on Google putting in what Nikon cameras have the XP image processor. So of course there's many, many that do. And uh, so I made a list of those cameras that have the XP processor. And that led me to the new and improved XP2 image processor. Okay. The XP2 processor has better noise reduction and better image distortion reduction. All right. So let's keep going. So remember, I needed a camera, a DSLR that had a live view, all right? Not a lot of cameras have live view that are DSLRs, right? Digital single lens reflex cameras. So let me just go down the list what I uncovered. So of course I needed to have 14 megapixels at least, uh, which brings you into the category of uh, crop sensor cameras, which is a big deal, that's great. Uh, in fact, it increases your uh focal length by 1.5 percent right so like in the case of this afs nikor 24 to 85 with vibration reduction it actually makes it a 36 millimeter to 127 millimeter lens on a dx crop sensor camera from nikon all right so I kept looking and I found uh, a particular camera that had 14 megapixels, it was crop sensor, had live view. It shoots 1080p video HD, but I'm not really interested in it, but it does have it. <clears throat> it has onboard sensor cleaning, right? For dust and the way it works is it actually shakes the uh, sensor, all right? It had to be AFS lens compatible, which this is, right? This is the particular lens I wanna use in this uh, video. Uh, the ISO range, 
100, now that's pretty good. You know, 100 ISO will give you almost noise-free photographs. Uh, top range of the ISO, 3200. Three frames per second. Now that doesn't seem like a lot in today's age, right? Way some cameras, right? Like the, uh, the Nikon V1 gives you like 60 frames per second, right? Uh, but three frames per second, that's fine for the average photography. Three inch screen, that's pretty good. Um, like I said, the XP2 improved image processor. Uh, lightweight with, it just keeps getting better. Built in TTL flash. TTL is through the lens, right? For perfect exposures. So the flash fires, it, this is all in the blink of an eye, right? The flash fires, reflects off the subject, goes into the lens, into the sensor, into the uh, processor that says, oh, you got enough light and shuts down the flash. Uh, so now the big challenge was under a hundred dollars so a lot of cameras right that you look at for under a hundred dollars that have everything i just mentioned right all those bells and whistles uh they're in uh basically just parts right you have to service them however i found a model right first you have to figure out okay what model am i looking for and i decided that the Nikon D3100, hold on. Hold on to your hat. The Nikon D3100 fit the bill for all these things I'm looking for. Then you look at the price and like, ah, oh, they were all, eBay had all of them were all over $100. And that's with no lens, that was just the body system. Oh, gotta do something better than that. So I did what I always preach, which is once you find the model you want, put it in Google. So in Google, I put in Nikon D3100 and I did some shopping. And that led me to the website called mpb.com. Now they have two uh, locations, Brooklyn, New York. These are not stores, you can't go there. It's just strictly online, but they're located one is Brooklyn, New York, and the other one is in the UK. So I went to that website, put in Nikon D3100, and sure enough, hold on to your britches. $43. Yeah, you heard me right. $43 Nikon D3100. Free shipping with a Nikon battery, Nikon charger, all right? So, you know that there's gotta be some, something going on, right? Something wrong. So, the description from mpb.com, now they're not a sponsor, keep that in mind. As you read the description, it says, the shutter count was 43,000 clicks. And that doesn't bother me. The Nikon D3100, as stated by Nikon, the shutter has a lifespan of 100,000. And as you know from all my past videos, I've said I've run cameras well past, double, triple past what the manufacturer said the shutter should last, right? So this particular camera, $43, had 43,000 shutter clicks out of 100,000 possible. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Next, it said <clears throat> the body was in excellent condition, right? But here was the problem. It said the back screen the, for the live view, right? The three inch screen had some fungus underneath the protective screen. But it said it did not have anything to do with image quality. It's just what you're looking at at that moment a little bit of fungus through the rear screen so I'm like gee you know what that doesn't bother me either so I'm like 
Okay, $43 for a Nikon D3100, including free shipping from Brooklyn, New York, to where I live in New York, right? Should be here any minute. Me. Thank you, Stella. Thank you very much. Could you close the door to the studio? Thank you, because the dogs are barking. All right, well, if you guys are familiar with uh, the MPB logo, this is their logo, and this is the box. It's sealed, right? There's no shenanigans going on here. This box. Let's see. Okay. I know. Something. Let's see. Paper. I'm glad they went with paper. Oh, Lord. Let's see. All right. This is uh, pretty standard on how they ship a camera, right? Tissue paper. Ooh. How about that? Nikon neck strap. This should be the charger. This should be the camera. Making sure you guys can see it. Whoa. This is, look at that. Look at that. All right. So, Nikon D3100. Okay, Oop. a little bit of tissue paper, All right? The screen that they said had a little bit of fungus, All right? You can tell the bottom is nice and clean. Okay, so let's see. Now the battery, sometimes they ship it with the battery in and it's a Nikon branded battery, which they said it would be. Now okay. when I get so, cameras like this, let's turn it on, okay? Look at that, screen lights up. Now, I'm looking for uh, what the uh, description said as far as fungus. Now, it's pretty easy to see. It looks like there's a little bit, a little bit right there, and a little bit right there, just a tiny bit of fungus. That little bit of fungus brought the price down by over $60. Okay, let's shut it off. Now I will go through a whole sensor cleaning, right? The sensor cleaning kit. But now this, right now the, the D3100, right? It does not have a built-in autofocus motor. That's why you have to use an AF-S lens. And what AF-S means, is that the lens has the silent wave motor for, for focusing, okay? This lens has VR, vibration reduction. The camera body does not have image stabilization, but, it but you use a lens that has it, okay? So let's mount this. Oh. If it's nice, I love, love that sound. So, all right, everything lights up. Screen looks good. See, I'm not if it fires. All right, let's go to live view. Okay, live view is right here. Look at that. All right, let's check it out. Our first photograph. <laughs> All right, we'll be going through all the menus. Look how big that screen is. Absolutely wonderful. So, you know what this means. This means that class number 280 will be the photographs taken with the $43 Nikon D3100, 14 megapixels, crop sensor, live crop view, sensor. 1080 DP review, gave it the silver award. It's lightweight, built-in TTL flash, and the XB processor that's in here is in the same family of processors that's in the D3 and the D700 and the D3X. All right, guys, hit the subscribe button. 
let's go out and take some photographs with the D3100. Bye for me.